Welcome to episode 2 of The Marvelous Week. This week, a great deal of information was shared about upcoming Marvel projects during the Disney Investor Day stream. I will briefly cover each new piece of news that was shared during the stream. Before that, I will talk about the other news about Marvel that got dropped this week. Let's dive in. It was confirmed after a rumour that Alfred Molina has officially joined the cast of Spider-Man 3 and is reprising his role as Dr. Octopus. It is unknown at this time if he is playing the version he played during Spider-Man 2 in 2004 or if he is playing an alternate MCU rebooted version of the character. Only time will tell. Also, the rumours surrounding the return of both Andrew Garfield and Tobey Maguire have been heating up, with also the potential of Kirsten Dunst and Emma Stone reprising their roles from their respective Spider-Man movies. These are still rumours, but are looking more and more likely. Now to move on to the news from the Disney Investor Day stream. First, we got a new trailer for WandaVision, which is set to appear on Disney Plus from January 15th. After the trailer, it was revealed that Elizabeth Olsen is currently filming Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness, which is being directed by Sam Raimi. Kevin Feige also confirmed the return of Benedict Cumberbatch, Benedict Wong, Rachel McAdams and Chiwetel Ejiofor from the first movie, and announced a new edition of Sochi Gomez, who will be playing America Chavez from the comics. The film has a March 22nd, 2022 release date. Feige did confirm that WandaVision and Spider-Man 3 will both directly tie into the Doctor Strange movie. We then got our first official look at Falcon and the Winter Soldier, which was described as an MCU movie played out over six hours. The show will air on Disney Plus in March 2021. Feige then confirmed that Black Widow will appear in cinemas on May 7th, 2021, despite rumours of it moving to Disney Plus. The Loki TV show was confirmed to to air on Disney Plus in May and we even got to see our first trailer and it also confirmed the cast. We also got our first trailer of the animated What If series. Miss Marvel was shown off and they confirmed the casting of Iman Vellani as Kamala Khan. It was also revealed that the character will appear in Captain Marvel 2 and the movie is going to be directed by Nia DaCosta. They revealed that the Hawkeye TV show is currently in production and last week we had actually seen some leaked set photos and Hayley Steinfeld who we did see in the set photos was officially confirmed to be playing Kate Bishop. The She-Hulk Disney Plus series was also confirmed, revealing that Tatiana Maslany will indeed play Jennifer Walters in the show. She had actually denied this rumour earlier in the year. Mark Ruffalo is also reprising his role as Bruce Banner, and a surprising casting of Tim Roth returning after 12 years play the role of Abomination. We last saw him in The Incredible Hulk. Moon Knight was also spoken about, but there was no official announcement as to who would play the lead. We have had the rumour that Oscar Isaac has been cast, but as this wasn't revealed, this must mean their deal is yet to be done or he is out of the running. Samuel L. Jackson and Ben Mendelsohn will start in the Disney Plus show Secret Invasion, reprising their roles of Nick Fury and Talos. Ironheart was announced to be shown on Disney Plus, and this will feature the character Riri Williams, who is described as a young Tony Stark-esque character. Dominique Fawn has been cast in the role. Both Secret Wars and Ironheart will tie into the MCU movies. Another show for Disney Plus is called Armor Wars and will feature Don Cheadle's War Machine. A Guardians of the Galaxy holiday special was also announced and confirmed that James Gunn will write and direct this and this will go into production at the same time as Guardians of the Galaxy 3. Feige then gave an update on Thor Love and Thunder with Taika Waititi directing and production starting in January. He confirmed that Chris Hemsworth, Natalie Portman and Tessa Thompson will be reprising their roles and he finally confirmed that Christian Bale will be the villain Gore the God Butcher. Feige also went on to briefly mention that Blade is being worked on but had nothing to reveal at this time and mentioned announcements would be made soon. Ant-Man 3 was given its official title, Ant-Man and the Wasp, Quantum Mania, with Paul Rudd, Evangeline Lilly, Michael Douglas and Michelle Pfeiffer confirmed to return. It is also revealed that Catherine Newton would take over the role of Casey Lang and the villain was also confirmed. This rumour was reported earlier this year and is now confirmed by the studio. Jonathan Majors will play Kang the Conqueror. Feige revealed that Black Panther 2 is going ahead despite the loss of Chadwick Boseman earlier this year and he did confirm they will not recast the role. Finally, Feige revealed the logo for Fantastic Four and that John Watts will direct the movie, having previously directed the latest Spider-Man trilogy. That's it for episode 2 of The Marvelous Week. What's your favourite piece of news from the Disney Investor Day Marvel panel? Let me know in the comments. Please give this video a like. 
subscribe if you haven't already, and make sure to click the bell icon to receive notifications of all my videos. Thanks for tuning in. <laughs>